Oh hi everyone, it's David back here, aka Waltorius. So can you believe WoW Classic is over a year old now? So this has been my main game that I've played over this year, and this is probably the most fun that I've ever had in any version of World of Warcraft. Firstly, how does World of Warcraft Classic compare with Retail? Retail has been optimised to death. Every class is very carefully balanced. Many of the abilities for individual classes overlap. You're always just playing for a 5% upgrade. Classic is different. Classes are wholly distinctive with very unique abilities. To give you an example, the Diamond Flask in WoW Classic can be used with healing armor. Such an exploit would never be allowed in retail, and if somebody did find such a thing, it would be very swiftly patched out of the game. There are also many oddities in WoW Classic which make the game a bit more fun. For example, the buff system, where many players need to attend places like Dire Mall. It's become a very unique ritual, and one I actually quite enjoy. If a raid made up to 20 to 40 players wipes, they lose the world buffs, which can take around about an hour or even longer to get prior to the raid. This acts as an incentive to play very well to avoid dying, which only enhances the experience. As far as I know, nothing like this exists in retail. Earning items in WoW Classic can be extremely difficult and owning these items shows dedication, luck and skill. For example, the Edgemaster's handguards, though only a level 44 item, are still the best item in the game for anyone who's dual wielding with certain weapons. But the drop rate on these is insanely low, roughly 1 in 10,000 mobs will drop this. There are also legendary items like Salfurus, Hand of Ragnaros, which require entire guilds to work together. Each item requiring weeks or even months of labour in game time to create. Retail WoW, to me, feels as if most of the other players are entirely optional for most of the content. Sure, Tackling high-end content requires some cooperation, and for everyone to be somewhat of an expert in the game, but you lose out on so much of the community that you have in WoW Classic. In short, it's Classic's imperfections that make it so fun. If you want that high-end gear, you really need to either dedicate yourself to three or more months of your life to get close to rank 14 as possible, and or running high-end content as part of a dedicated guild. Making money in the game can also be extremely difficult, and raiding can be incredibly expensive. I'm very lucky. As a Fury Warrior, I can normally get away with a few things such as the Elixir of Giants, the Elixir of Mongoose, Limited Invulnerability Potion, also called Lips, Fire Protection Potion, Greater Fire Protection Potion, Greater Nature Protection Potion, Heavy Runecloth Bandages, Elemental Sharpening Stones, Blessed Sunfruit, Free Action Potion, Great Rage Potion. You get the idea, and this is one of the easier classes to actually get pots for. Other classes have even more expensive pots, which are almost a requirement for high-end raiding, such as requiring the biggest mana pots, and all kinds of other pots. In fact, the most expensive pots in the game are currently going for about 150 gold because of the insane requirements that they have in order to create them. World of Warcraft Classic works for so many reasons. WoW has one of, it was one of the first big MMORPGs. The developers were literally creating a game and they were creating a genre, but they were creating a game that they wanted to play. It was created with passion, and it really shows. And it has been a base for many other games in the genre. Players, such as myself, got the game off Warcraft 3, <laughs> also called Warcraft 3. Returning to Classic is extremely nostalgic for me. Younger players will, no doubt, have heard the stories back in the old days 
when we were a lad, when World of Warcraft was new, and now they actually have the opportunity to experience it for themselves. Highly skilled and knowledgeable players have become like sages. They know what's coming and they can pass on that knowledge to other players, playing a very valuable role in guilds and the community as a whole, even here on YouTube. Because of the demand to cooperate as part of a guild and community, everyone feels wanted and everyone contributes, even if they don't think they do. The potions that I mentioned before are all farmed by players. They'll create the potions, but also get the ingredients for going the potions. I've created hundreds of bits of armor, which other players use, whilst I make a tidy profit, of course. Every player farming Black Lotus or Arcane Crystals know that they stand to make money, and that those crystals and those materials that they farm can become part of epic items. Every interaction is meaningful. Another aspect I like about Classic is many items which are difficult to attain still hold their value even a year on. We are a year into the game now. For example, the Savage Gladiator Chain Breastplate, though not the best, still holds reasonably well up against modern armour, even though this armour was initially very difficult to get. Can any item in WoW retail claim the same? My initial reaction to World of Warcraft was one of amazement and, if I'm honest, slight disappointment. The first ever character I created, a nice elf druid, actually became my main back in 2005 when the game launched. For a start, the game took on a comedically long time to load, requiring around about 6 CDs to install, each of which took about 20 minutes, which is just about 2 hours on their own although perhaps my memory is exaggerating this. And even once the game started, there was still a very, very long queue just to get into the game. I had no idea what to expect. Prior to that, I had never been a huge fan of MMORPGs. In fact, World of Warcraft was the first one I played. But I was a fan of Warcraft 3, Age of Empires, KKND, a general strategy and console games. When I saw the Night Elf starting zone, I thought the graphics were incredible, and I was blown away. A Warcraft 3 hero could be leveled up over the course of one match. But in World of Warcraft, this took an insanely long time to level up. So you might ask, why was I disappointed? Because the game was so alien to me. So different to Warcraft 3. I got the impression I would have to put in a lot of time into this game to really get anything out of it. When we started, there was no questy to show you how to complete quests. Everything was new. The game had an almost magical quality. The world was unexplored. We, the first players to ever visit Azeroth, were the first ones to ever see the content that we experienced. The game was literally the breath of the wild of its day, with a massive landscape. At one time, I remember, I swam all the way from Darkshaw to Ashara, only to find it populated with incredibly powerful mobs that killed my character with one hit. It was silly, and a waste of time, but it was also an adventure. It was freedom, to play how we wanted, to do the things we wanted to do. I started with two other friends on the Alliance side. There was nothing better than those late night duels outside of Ironforge. As a druid, I loved nothing more than dueling paladins because they were all so similar to druids in the sense that they were healing tanks. Even though it's difficult for me to admit, perhaps the paladins were slightly stronger, but that just meant as a druid you had to be even more cunning. So has the game lived up to our memories and our expectations? For me, the answer is yes. 15 years on, I'm still playing the same game. I wonder if people actually change that much over the time. Am I still the same person I was then? So gosh darn it, as life marches on inexorably, we watch our potential die day by day, 
we may as well have a little fun on the way. I'm sorry if I sound nihilistic, but it is an experience had in a virtual computer game any less than an experience we have face to face. Most supposedly real experiences are mediated these days by terrible tasks mandated by the government that have about as much expression as an emoji. The future for many of us is bleak and lonely and filled with cats who just stick around because they fancy eating our eyes after we pass on from this world. We may as well burn some of that oil and coal to power our devices so at least we can look at brightly coloured Skinner boxes to secrete some dopamine from our little brains before we pass on. We'll be the first generation in the care home to zug zug through Naxxramas with a drip in one arm and an MMO gaming mouse in the other. Yelling at each other over Discord. Maybe if Elon Musk is successful, we could all upload our brains into said MMO RPG, and then we could all be rank 14. Now, thank you very much for listening. Please like a comment, and please do let me know if you've enjoyed this content, and I will endeavour to make more like it. Thank you very much. Go away.